All right, moving on, it's been 11 long months since COVID-19 was formally categorised as a global pandemic. Victoria has finally started to join the rest of Australia, thank goodness, but many other countries are sadly heading back into lockdown, as we just touched on there. So where to for risk and compliance as companies that are not only getting internally transformed, but dealing with a global economic downturn? Well, we've got our experts here to tell us more. Anthony Stevens, CEO of Six Clicks and Andrew Robinson, head of cybersecurity. Guys, welcome back. Good to have you. How are you? G'day. Nice to be here again, Adrian. Absolutely. Now, this is, um, yeah, this is fascinating. I mean, sad in so many ways, as, as I just mentioned. I mean, it's just a tragedy to look around Europe and America and the fact that they're just not following countries like Australia. So, Anthony, I'll start with you. Uh, why do you think we need a complete reset when it comes to uh, risk and compliance? Yeah, I think, look, businesses are obviously trying to uh, reposition themselves post or, you know, you know during COVID, but uh, obviously post COVID. And for many businesses, there's there's risks out there, the unknown unknowns, uh, the known unknowns, mm -hmm. um, but there's also the regulation that you have to continue to keep abreast of and, and compliant with. Uh, and then there's the fact that I think we're really going to see economies wanting to catch up, right? Like pick up this lost time over the last uh, six months and, and the expectations for business to move really quickly is going to drive the fact that risk and compliance needs to be better addressed within companies. And uh, I think, you know, many of your, your viewers would probably uh, recall 2007 when uh, you know, Apple did such an amazing job of releasing uh, the iPhone. And prior to then, I think we all recognize that, uh, recognize now that the stuff that was available out there in terms of technology was sort of, uh, you know, long in the tooth, not so smart, not so easy to use. Apple changed all of that. And I think the great news is that for so many businesses, there is now technology out there that can make the process of risk and compliance so much easier and, uh, and uh, bring to bear some some real intelligence to make that um, problem now uh, sort of you know something they can get on top of in terms of risk and compliance. And Andrew, I'll bring you in now. We chat regularly uh, here on Ticker about cyber security, uh, which is a complicated and mysterious area for most. We're, we're learning more and more as we go. Um, and you have also mentioned AI quite a few times, of course. So do you think artificial intelligence plays a major role in resetting risk and compliance? Sure. Yeah, I definitely do, Adrian. Um, half the battle is, 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 or maybe even more than half the battle, 80% of the battle is in cybersecurity is finding wow. the, the time to work on the, the things that are the most important and they're going to have some kind of tangible improvement to cybersecurity. But all too often, cybersecurity professionals are weighed down by risk and compliance rather than lifted up and supported by or operating in any kind of harmony with those requirements. So um, artificial intelligence, as you, you suggest there, is, is really going to allow us to not only identify threats and vulnerabilities and, and things that are important to be addressed promptly at the technical level, but they can help guide us when it comes to risk and compliance and, and uh, simplifying risk and, and compliance. And, and that's what we're focusing um, right now on at, at Six Clicks with our machine learning uh, models uh, built around compliance so that compliance becomes a natural byproduct of the way that you do cyber security and the way that businesses operate rather than being something that they need to tack on or, or needs to be overly onerous. And you know how I've, I, I've uh, carried around the most hideous of Excel workbooks previously as a, as a consultant, and it, it used to, to, to have a lot of the logic in there, but it's, it's time we moved on from from those uh, those uh, old tools and and, uh, and and leverage the technology that's that's now available to us. Speaking with Andrew Robinson and Anthony Stevens from Six Clicks, and there is a way that you can get further involved. Thanks to our great partners at Six Clicks, you can get started with your free account today. Get on top of risk management and compliance for your business. Visit sixclicks.io. Uh, Anthony, what does the reset look like in your mind? If I was a risk manager sitting in front of you, what are my next steps exactly? I think uh, so many risk managers out there are probably still doing with stealing, still de dealing with spreadsheets, unfortunately. Right. And, uh, you know, in that context, the best thing they can do is bite the bullet, get off spreadsheets mm. uh, and think about technology and software that can 
dramatically help them sort of get abreast of risk and compliance in their business. But that's it's not all about software. It's not all about technology. It's also about having the right conversation, having the right conversation from the, the front line, those that are dealing with risk and compliance issues at the coal face of businesses, right through to the board uh, and executive team at the top of the top of the house uh, and making sure the awareness and the communication and the sense of responsibility is really there to, to tackle risk and compliance head on. There's a few ways that we see people doing that. One is just sort of storytelling ultimately saying, look, you know, if, if COVID were to occur again or you know, we're seeing news uh, and events occurring all around the world in relation to cybersecurity uh, or other risks that are emerging. Uh, having that discussion right up front and saying, if we are going to tackle that, let's do that in a really efficient and effective way to make sure that we stay on top of this stuff rather than let it sort of, uh, you know, decay over time. Yeah. And Andrew, so that's, yeah, oh, sorry, keep going. That's all right. Oh, you wrapped up. Very good. <laughs> Andrew, we'll go back to you just to finish. Uh, obviously, you're in the reg tech space, but how can technology yeah. provide the reset for things like, you know, attitudes and cultural issues that we're seeing, I mean, pretty much every week at the moment? Sure, sure. So technology influencing uh, cultural uh, and attitudes. So that, it is a little bit like... Um, you know the, the the tail wagging the dog perhaps we should we, we should really uh, get on the front foot and to find uh, what we want from technology and make sure that it's representative of the culture and the society that we we want to create for ourselves rather than have technology sort of necessarily lead the way but technology is certainly codifying the way we live now even maybe more so than you know standards laws and, and regulations uh, but having said that, I mean, uh, technology does drive change to, to attitudes uh, and, and, and cultures um, for, for better or worse, ideally better. So the question is, you know, what kind of tools can business owners and, and leaders and managers put in the hands of their staff to, to better manage both technology, security and the risk and, and compliance matters that, that we deal with uh, at Six Clicks. So, and yeah, the, the theme of, of today of, of this segment has definitely been on AI. And the fact is that it can provide an enormous um, benefit to, to businesses to help stream, not only streamline risk and compliance, but also help them focus on, on the right things. And, 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 but one of the important ingredients is to make sure that there's really useful in, inputs into, a, into machine learning and AI algorithms. And, and so we, are, we uh, train our model with lots of standards, laws and regulations from uh, around the world so that we can empower business people and uh, uh, to, to make better decisions and smarter investments and really use technology to simplify the way they work rather than just create um, more more work and, and more headaches. So that, that's definitely where up, we're up to. And if you want a case in point, then I think about health and the previous segment that you had on a, a health related uh, business and, and how they're cha changing the world of uh, healthcare. And I think that's a great use of uh, artificial intelligence. And yeah, you know, we're doing a similar thing from a risk and compliance uh, point of view to make sure that industries like health, which uh, offer a critical service that's very much in need right now and always, to stop them getting bogged down and hamstrung by risk and compliance issues and make sure that they can deliver against you know the quality of service uh, that they expect to, to provide us rather than you know uh, suffer outages or be too caught up uh, in, in uh, regulatory red tape you know so many companies are left cha you know chasing their tail uh, to stay compliant rather than having compliance as a natural byproduct of the way that they do business yeah it makes a lot of sense and yeah the two definitely connect you know really nicely guys love your time thank you so much i appreciate you breaking it all down for us the way you do it's incredibly important we want to keep this conversation moving enjoy your afternoon we'll talk soon okay thanks Adrian. thanks Adrian. Great stuff. Thanks to our great partners at Six Clicks. As I mentioned, you can get started with your free account today. Get on top of risk management and compliance for your business. Visit sixclicks.io. Do that right now because it's fascinating stuff, super important at the moment in the world that we live in.